One of the other things that you talked about today is the capital position and ruling out any buybacks. I wondered, give us a bit more detail on why you've decided not to buy back shares at this time. Well, good morning to every one of you. Um, indeed, we published very good results this quarter again, and uh, we are committed uh, as far as the payout is concerned to a 50% cash payout dividend. Uh, we think that it's a fair remuneration for our shareholders, and we think that we need to keep the remaining part of uh, our earnings in order either to fuel the organic growth of our business lines, and we are indeed in areas where there is growth and there is credit demand, or to uh, fuel uh, and to finance some Bolton acquisitions as we did already in the last two years, or maybe to face some potential uh, regulations regulatory headwinds that may occur from time to time. So this is the reason why we think that the break uh, even uh, or the, the breakdown, excuse me, between a 50 percent uh, dividend and a 50 percent retained earnings is uh, a fair uh, and, 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 and a reasonable uh, 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 breakdown. And you mentioned there uh, bolt on acquisitions, the possibility of doing those. What is your appetite for acquisitions uh, given uh, some of the deals that you've been doing of late, Jerome? Well, uh, in the last two years, actually, we made some, uh, uh, again, Bolton small acquisitions in the field of uh, asset management, in the field of uh, private banking, and also in retail banking uh, in, in Italy. And uh, uh, I think that we have the capacity to continue uh, that type of acquisitions with a certain uh, number of conditions. Of course, we need to be able to show a decent return on investment, and actually the target is to be above 10 percent return on investment after three years. We need to concentrate on areas where we are already uh, strong, I would say, on an organic basis. And of course, we want to stick to our main strategic uh, uh, orientations. And what about exposure to Italy, uh, Jerome? What is the level of exposure and are you looking to reduce it? No, actually, uh, we are uh, in Italy since probably more than 30 years, and it's really our second domestic market. We have all our business lines in Italy, uh, be it retail, consumer credit, car financing, insurance, CIB, and so on and so forth. Last year, we made a net profit in Italy, which was uh, close to, five, uh, to 550 million euros. And in the first nine months of this year, it's already above 420 million euros. So we clearly are in profitable businesses, profitable areas, and we have no intention to reduce our uh, uh, positions in Italy. Nevertheless, of course, we are aware of the present discussions between the Italian government and the European Commission, and we are monitoring our different exposures very uh, carefully. 